Hello everybody, today I'm going to explain the solution to problem B, jellyfish and game, a problem that was given at code forces round 901, div 2. This was also the problem A from the same round in the div 1 version. So in this problem, we have two players who play this game which has K rounds, and both players do the same move. So they can swap one of the apples they have with, the, with one of the apples the other player has. And we want both of the players to get as big of a sum as possible. And uh, we want to find the sum the first player ends up having. So uh, basically, a, a few things we can see here are that N and M are actually quite small, up to 50. But at the same time, K is very big, up to 10 to the 9. So we can't just simulate the process. However, we can observe that the optimal strategy for each of the players is to always replace the smallest apple they have with the biggest apple the other player has. And since the, these things alternate in turns, we can see after running a few examples that they will end up making the same moves. So basically at this point, we can just uh, think that we can reduce the value of K. And basically this is the main idea of the problem. But now we need to be a bit careful about how do we want to reduce the value of K. Because uh, K is up to 10 to the 9, and we also need to work around the parity of k. So we want ideally to reduce k to an odd value if uh, k is odd at first, uh, to an even value if k was even at first. And in order to make sure that the solution gets accepted, I computed what would be the highest value of k that I can use in order to make this work, given the constraints. Again, we don't have n and n bounded, very important. In usual problems, we have them, but this time we don't. And I just realized that I can come up with a value something around 80. So here is also my solution. So I added everything in a multiset for both A and B. Again, very important to reduce the maximum number of rounds to somewhere around 80. And then for after this, we can just simulate and replace the minimum with the maximum. It's very important to use the multiset properly. We don't want to remove everything that's equal to the same value. So we need to erase by doing a lower bound instead of just erasing X or Y. And then I just simulated the process for both values, printing at the end the final sum I would get. If you like this video, please like, subscribe and share the video to your friends and also it also helps me to share the channel to everyone who wants to uh, compete in programming competitions and to find uh, high quality solutions. You can also check out my other links in description for other ways to enhance your competitive programming career by collaborating with me. Until next time, stay safe, good luck with practicing and see you in the next video. Cheers!